Hey everyone, it's Owen from OTEC, and today I'll be unboxing this uh, pretty popular uh, Skite fan. It's the Skite Slipstream, or as they call it, Kaze Juni, or whatever you pronounce it. And this is the 1600 RPM model that I found while I was on vacation in Japan. And yeah, you know, it's yet another fan that I bought. So, <laughs> yeah, it seems like I bought a lot of fans because. I think fans are easy to bring and they're kind of interesting to test in my opinion. So yeah, it's something PC related that isn't too expensive but actually helps performance yet I can bring it here pretty easily. So that's why. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's get back to the unboxing. Let's just take a look at the box itself or like the blister wrap. Um, it says slipstream, Kazajuni, small center hub and white blade type. So yeah, you can clearly see that the blade area is way larger than the hub area, unlike on some other fans. So this should help increase airflow by reducing the hub size. Although, like I said on the Sky Gentle Typhoon unboxing, the hub doesn't really help much if it's smaller since, you know, the blades on the inner parts of the fan are rotating or moving at a lower speed than the outside parts of the blade. Uh, the RPM is the same, but they're traveling a small, smaller distance, so in that case, they actually, you know, the, the speed is relatively slower than the outside blade, so it won't move as much air anyways. But they hear this, uh, standard, high airflow, and it has a sleeve bearing with a 3-pin connector, and yeah, 1600 RPM, 120 millimeter, and this is the sleeve bearing version when they have the ball bearing as well but those are actually way slower speed so I decided to get these and I couldn't find a 19hz RPM model or otherwise I would have you know bought that so here's the back uh, a lot of Japanese but there's also English uh, features listed so two year warranty which is pretty good actually and yeah here's the specifications um, so yeah, let's take a look at the fan itself. So here's the fan. Um, it's pretty basic, there's not much in the packaging. Except for like, just some power adapters. So here's Molex to 3-pin I guess. Oh, and it has a 3-pin tachometer attachment so you can plug it to the 12 volt and get full speed but then you can plug in the 3 pin with just the tachometer to your motherboard so you can see the RPM but yeah here it is the fan itself it's uh, it's quite a simple fan really it's just black on black on black on everything although the cable is actually colorful which I don't like to see but seeing that this fan is pretty much a basic performance orientated fan I don't think it, there's much you can do considering this fan isn't that expensive either and you also get some screws I guess silver screws so nothing fancy and yeah here's the back sticker it's just some power specification and the model number and now let's take a look at the blade design um, so you can see that these blades are quite thin and the blade angle is pretty steep so you can pretty much guess that this fan is made for airflow and not really for static pressure since you can see there's a lot of gaps between the fan blades and also there's a lot of fan blades so thin high angle fan blades and lots of them usually means high airflow so yeah let's put that to the test I guess let's just stick it to my fan tester like usual and see how it does so here it is, let's start with the slowest speed, as usual, so, yep, it doesn't want to start, no, so let's crank it, about, crank it up a notch, uh, looks like it still doesn't want to spin, so, yeah, so this fan looks like needs a higher starting voltage than all the other fans I tested, but yeah, it's I mean it's pretty quiet so even if you have to start it at this voltage I don't think it's a problem because it's spinning really slowly and it's inaudible basically but it moves quite a good amount of air at this speed actually I'm quite surprised I'm, I mean it's probably because of the blade design 
so even at the lower RPMs it made quite a lot of errors so yeah so about at this point you can start to hear the wind noise but it's nothing annoying it's just wind noise and the airflow is quite a lot already at this speed so yeah let's crank it up all the way to the full speed and here's when you can hear that the fan is not loud but you can s well it's kind of loud compared to the other fans I tested because you can really hear a lot of chopping noise like air chopping sound and it's probably because the blades are like overlapping each other's airflow uh, considering the blades are very high um, blade angles but it blows a lot of air I'm telling you this blows more air than you know most 2000 rpm fans this pretty much blows about the same or more as the Sky Gentle Typhoon fans, you know, in terms of airflow. So that's pretty good. Although this fan won't have as much static pressure, of course. But it is a bit quieter than this Gentle Typhoon at a higher speed since, you know, this is an airflow optimized fan. But yeah, that's, uh, you can have a listen. Yeah, so the noise profile is actually pretty smooth, so I wouldn't worry about this fan being overly loud. But I guess that's it for this simple unboxing and testing of this Kite Slipstream fan. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please leave a like. And please click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.